Three men are all facing federal drug charges after a three-month investigation ended last night. The seven-county task force seized 13 grams of methamphetamine, which has a street value of $30,000, and more charges could be on the way. Phil Campbell was at this morning's news conference and has more now from Blackfoot. Alino Rodriguez, Eduardo Jimenez, and Carlos Baldovinos are in custody this evening after a coordinated effort from law enforcement agencies throughout eastern Idaho. The two suspects were arrested in Blackfoot, with the third arrested at Convergis in Pocatello. All three men are being charged with possession and conspiracy to distribute illegal drugs. Bingham County Sheriff Dave Johnson says there is no way one agency could have handled this alone. You have to have a lot of undercover officers. You have to have uh, very few uniform officers. When you start hitting, hitting doors and stuff like that, you want uniform officers there for identification purposes and for safety reasons. But we have an awful lot of them are in plain clothes from other agencies that can uh, undercover type issues. And, and then we have uh, our SWAT teams. And, and you don't just have a small SWAT team, you have a big SWAT team. You go into it with force. You well, as you can see, peace has been restored to this normally quiet Blackfoot neighborhood, but that wasn't the case last night as over 75 law enforcement personnel surrounded this home and brought $30,000 worth of meth off the streets. I think they got a little shock and awe last night uh, <laughs> when, they, when they saw the amount of officers and the different agencies. I don't think they saw the different patches that were on the shirts. They just saw a whole lot of guns and a whole lot of officers uh, with the same determination and same dedication that this isn't going to be allowed here. And I think that's the message that we want to get across. The search warrant was issued on Tuesday and law enforcement executed the raid on Wednesday. Over 10 ounces of meth, three cars and an ATV were seized during the raid. Reporting in Bingham County, Phil Campbell, KPVI News 6. Charges from the state are pending. This could include an enhancement for having children present. The living conditions were also pretty poor as the power was shut off at the residence.